guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Welcome to this week's Twin Flame reading for May the 14th until the 24th. I hope you're all doing well. So I've moved locations again. I'll, I'll show you in a little minute. It's I have another window that I'm looking out at the back of my house. Um, I've soundproofed the room, but it really doesn't make that much of a difference. <laughs> I can still um, hear a lot of noise. So, uh, so here's a view from my window. Um, that tree right there, it has white flowers on it. I'm not sure what it's called, but they're all turned right now. It's really beautiful. And this is the rest of the room. It's all padded, but still I hear noise. So I am going to use the John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Um, I think I'll use this for the masculine side, so I'll pull the cards first. Okay, and so for the feminine, John Hahn Psychic Tarot. I think I'll use my deck. Whoa! Um, I'll have to pause that to get those. You'll just have to trust that I'm not going to mess with the cards. All right. So let me just shuffle that again. Okay, so let's begin. Um, if I need to pull clarifiers, I'll use my smaller deck. Okay, so beginning with the feminine's past position, choose wisely, Seven of Cups. So what I see here is somebody retreating um, into their selves. You know, there, there's a guy sitting at the end of the dock there, and he's contemplating he's considering all of his options um, you know and there's a lake here which represents emotional body so he's trying to figure out a way to get to the Sun um, or to connect with somebody so the feminine has felt confused in a daze the masculine five of wands challenging times so we see right away that there's this shield protecting his heart. Um, he isn't in a defensive, or not a defensive uh, pose, he's not in, in an offensive pose where he's ready for battle. He's protecting himself. Um, you know, and the, the face on the shield is very stern, just like his. So he He's had some challenging times and he's, you know, he's alert, awake, aware, um, and ready for a challenge. He's ready for, you know, someone to challenge him. So that's coming up in the past position. So hopefully he's overcome those challenges. In the present position for the feminine, patience and planning, seven of pentacles, another seven. So this is all about, you know, considering the future, <clears throat> the past, um, see where you've made mistakes in the past so you don't continue to make those mistakes. Uh, so this is a forced wait, 
pregnant pause, right? So a lot of stillness that I'm seeing here, no movement, a lot of consideration, um, you know, a lot of planning for the future. The masculine is present is the three of cups, share the love. So that's good. You know, he's lowered his shield and he's now offering his heart and there's a little crack in the heart now that could symbolize that you know this light is starting to emanate from the heart or it could also mean that it's a broken heart as well right it needs mending it needs fixing so in the present position there is love and a desire to offer love Make sure that you guys can see those. All right. Okay. So the near future for the feminine. Wow. Spiritual union. Two cups. So this is meeting your twin flame, you know, your true love and having a deep soul connection with them. Um, you know, this is all about love and em being able to express your emotions freely. And it also talks about, you know, having that three or sorry, 5D connection as well through the third eye chakra so they're sharing this cup of love and love is flowing around them so you know what that's kind of saying to me is that you know there's a possibility of the masculine reaching out to the feminine on an emotional level which the feminine then feels in the near future near future for the masculine detach so this is a justice card so what I'm seeing you know is in the background we have a snow scene um, the leaves have fallen from the tree and this woman is releasing a dove so detaching herself um, so it's a very cold very somber look now Normally the Justice card is all about karmic energy coming back to you. What you put out, you get back. So there is this sense of being closed off in the past, opening up and offering himself, and then letting it go, letting it fly, you know, releasing it to, to spirit. And he knows it'll come back to him you know, it's a, in a good way. Love can, you know, love always wins. Okay, so the, let's leave the final come for later. We'll move into the union energy. So what is the feminine bringing in is shadow. So the moon card is all about your shadow self, your shadow work. So you're asked to look at the image that you're projecting out into the universe. Um, you know, this is the dark side, uh, the things that you're afraid of and facing those fears straight on so there is I'm also seeing a beautiful balance between the dark and the light they're both holding this scepter um, yeah so the feminine is either facing her fears or is being mysterious you know needing answers or even seeing the self-reflection of herself um, the other half of herself just like up here there's that mirroring but this is a dark and light and that's a feminine um, masculine so let's see what the, the um, extended reading says I'll be pulling three additional cards per position for the extended reading um, so what is the masculine bringing in wow throw shocker communication so this is what he's bringing into the union is a desire to communicate to open up to offer to be willing to connect where he was closed off in the past there's definitely this the sense of opening up okay and so at the foundation wow the king of cups so what I'm feeling here is a masculine energy who is finding balance emotionally and mentally and this is somebody who would be willing to offer their heart you know so he's really getting in touch with his emotions this week now for the feminine 
you know, we're seeing signs of that loving connection in the near future. Right now, things seem like they're not moving. Um, yeah. Okay, so the crowning energy justice card again. So the both aspects desire justice. They want things to be, to come to an end for, you know, situations to resolve themselves. Um, they... Yeah, they they want justice. All right. So, as a crowning energy, there is this desire to, you know, make what was wrong right again. And the masculine returns to that energy in the near future, but with a sense of detachment associated with it, where the feminine you know, wants to know which way to go. There's a lot of darkness and confusion here. Okay, so what's at the heart? Base chakra. So this is the, the lowest chakra. This is all about the 3D reality, whether or not you feel safe in a situation, whether or not your basic needs are being looked after. So in the heart space, there is lack at the lowest level. Um... So there's a lot of fears that are being drawn up. And so they want both aspects, desire, that karmic energy, that warmness, the connection, that balance of emotions to return. Um, they feel a void in the heart space. Final outcome for the feminine, eight of swords trapped in fear. So, oops. So this is a mental card. It's a self-imposed prison, so somebody has made her feel this way, that she is trapped, she can't leave a situation. But, you know, these are just thoughts that you believe, right? You have the power to escape from that prison. You just choose not to. So there's also this sense of victimization as well, right? Oh, woe is me, I can't release myself from a situation, so I'm, I'm stuck here. So the mind returns as a final outcome, which is, you know, sad to see after such a beautiful card, that spiritual connection. Maybe you were hoping for something to happen, but the masculine detached from it, and now you're back to square one worrying, you know, in your mind, confused about what the future lies, you know, holds for you. Final outcome for the masculine is reach out, another opening up card. So what I'm seeing here is that there are many levels to a person's um, personality. There are many levels to love. There are many levels to connection. And, you know, it takes tiny steps to get to, to build a relationship, to build a foundation. <clears throat> so the Three of Pentacles does represent a firm, solid foundation. But the words that are crying out, you know, reach out. So share the love, detach, and reach out. So what I see here is, you know, a desire to reach out, not necessarily doing so because the person is just kind of sitting there and they're looking away from the connection. The feminine is basically lost in her mind. Okay, so what is the overall energy is the high priest. So this is somebody who's spiritually awakened, who is um, conscious, who is evolved, and who helps others, you know, guides them out of the darkness, but also guides them on their journey um, through spiritual enlightenment, right? So they receive messages from the universe, they translate that message, and then they share that message in the way of spiritual teachings. So the overall energy is, you know, this spiritual connection. This card also represents the vibe tribe as well. So, you know, I'm feeling a loss, a, a, an emptiness, um, a darkness on the feminine side. And the masculine is going from being closed off to open to closed off to open to closed off, you know, just back and forth. But there is this desire to communicate. 
there is a desire for justice. There is a desire to open up emotionally. But none of that can happen until you have resolved your own issues within yourself. And, you know, you need to be that conscious, that consciousness behind all of this gunk and, you know, desires and wants. There can only be you. There can only be consciousness. And there you will find love. And you will find love for yourself. And only then can you, you really truly connect with your, your twin flame on a 5D and 3D level. Okay, so let me pull one card from Miss and Mermaids. And this will be the final message from the universe. Okay, so this one's for the feminine. Mermaid with pink lotus. So I think that's all about self-love. Masculine. Microcosmic seascape. Okay. So it says, Mermaid with Pink Lotus, close your drowsy drooping eyes and come to me with, par uh, with me to paradise. Leave your cares for just an hour to focus on floating flowers. Let the water soothe your flesh and leave you rested fit and fresh. A fair mermaid drifts languidly among the tangle of lily pads in a tranquil lagoon. A single pink lotus blossom adorns her hair. A second floats nearby in a pool. So relaxed is she that her slight movements do little to disrupt the surface of the water. So the meaning is to make effort to relax. Stop what you're doing and take a deep breath. It's time to relax. You're not selfish and that could be a blessing. Helping your loved ones is an important part of who you are, but sometimes it's okay to set aside your worries about others and take some time for yourself. Maybe you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed. Try not to let it wear you down. Instead, try these relaxation techniques to improve your health and well-being. Number one, close your eyes and imagine a personal paradise. What do you see, hear, and feel? Let yourself become engulfed in these sensations. Allow your breathing to become slow and even, and notice your energy flow through your body. This will help you feel refreshed and rejuvenated. Take a hint from our mermaid friend and let yourself be soothed by the calming water. A walk near a beach or a lake or rest near a bubbling fountain. Can you hear those birds? Oh, I wonder if they'll sing again. Oh, maybe not. I hope you can pick that up. I'm enjoying this spot. Okay. Um, so walk near a beach or a lake or rest near a bubbling fountain can bring inner tranquility. And the, it's like the birds were cued, right? That's so crazy. Number three, are you finding it difficult to relax? A change in environment can be most helpful. There you go, in reducing stress. A short getaway for some pampering at a spa can be just what your body and mind need to chase away the stress. Yeah. So yeah, I see a lot of thoughts, you know, confused. What do I do about my future? You know, um, I feel stuck. I feel like things aren't going anywhere. And then it's just this perpetual... Um, state of confusion and so the universe is telling you it's time to get out of your head everything will work out the way it's supposed to okay so number 15 anytime you try to control a situation or advance on it you know try to manipulate it in some way it becomes tainted it becomes sour you know let it flow to you allow it to come to you Okay, so microcosmic seascape. Storms are brewing o'er the quay. As ships are tossing out at sea, dark and dreary nimbus clouds forms a hard and heavy shroud. Oh, what turmoil rocks the waves, threatening men in early graves. But I can watch without alarm, and know this scene means me no harm. A wide-eyed maiden with ivy-draped hair holds in her arm a glass orb, enclosing a miniature seascape complete with a sailing ship. Although it appears to... A storm is rolling in. Our lady knows she is safely outside of her, of the carefully contained scene. So the meaning is out of harm's way. Someday soon you will bear witness to a traumatic event, but do not fear. You are safe. Although upsetting, the upcoming turmoil is removed enough from your person 
that you will not suffer directly. When the storm arrives, you may feel powerless, but accept that there is nothing that you can do. Some things are outside of your control. You simply have to stand by and watch them transpire. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing stand by. You know, here we we feel that detachment, that allowance, letting go. But there is this longing, definitely, on the masculine side. So don't contain. Allow yourself to open up and express what you truly want to say. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Please, please leave a comment. I love you guys so much. It inspires me. It motivates me. Um, and just knowing that you guys are there supporting me gives me the courage to continue to make these videos. So, um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe. All right. I love you guys. Cheers.